Okay, can you tell me why I should be excited about small modular reactors? Uh, small modular reactors are absolutely the future of nuclear energy. And there is a global race on uh, as we speak to produce the small modular reactors designs that are going to be the winning designs uh, around the globe. The uh, small modular reactors are going to be designed to supersede, frankly, the large reactors. It has tremendous benefits in terms of time to market, and we're talking about two years in lieu of an 11-year cycle. Uh, and that way you could generate um, uh, money a lot faster than you can in terms of the duration. Uh, another great feature for SMRs uh, is the fact that you could, uh, you could uh, place them in areas where the T&D large infrastructures do not exist. Uh, now we believe that uh, Holtec International is embarking on a tremendous design uh, that will be safe, will be secure, and will be economical. And those are our three focus areas. And we believe uh, since SMRs uh, is not a, a new novelty, if you will, SMRs have always existed. But what is different is they have not been economical. Uh, and again, what we'll do is uh, uh, focus on the safety and security. And that's the basis for all our existing fleet worldwide uh, today but also make it economical so it, could, so it can compete with coal and with gas. Uh, so we are very excited about this opportunity. And what's also, uh, why is it so important to us here in the U.S.? Because it will create thousands of jobs because we believe that the winning global design will export these um, SMRs around the globe. Okay. Can you tell me who your ideal customer is for your product? Well, the ideal customer uh, in the U.S. would be utilities and also non-nuclear operating groups. Uh, that would be the group that's typically, uh, that obtains a percentage of a large plant. The non-nuclear operating groups will have the option now going forward to have their own plants and pick their own operator. And in terms of a global market, you have the, again, the countries where coal and gas might be inaccessible or expensive, and also the countries that do not have, as I mentioned earlier, a large D&D infrastructure.